Hey everybody, it's Matt, and I'm coming to you today from our kitchen where one of our quarantine hobbies has been raising caterpillars. Yeah, that's the thing. We've had uh, painted lady caterpillars, and as of right now, all but one of them has gone into a chrysalis. And you better believe I'm going to get some mileage out of this perfect visual metaphor, especially this Sunday when we start our series, Subject to Change. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about summer trips. And... There's this phrase I've ended up using a lot, uh, talking to youth committee and small group leaders and other people, and it's, the phrase is, basically, that's a really long way of saying, I don't know. Now, I do know one thing. The staff and youth committee have been unanimous in that summer trips can't happen. It's too many people gathering in too small of a place, sharing food and bathrooms, and it just doesn't work with the government's recommendations and regulations as far as gathering and safe distance and all that stuff. So summer trips can't happen. The part where it's going to be a long way of saying I don't know is what do we do instead? Because I've been in youth ministry for 15 years and I just can't imagine personally a summer with nothing. I mean actually to be completely fair I've gone, kind of gone through a couple of stages of grief just knowing we're not going to do summer trips. Um, Montreat, Massanetta. I think about all the work that youth committee has put into the fundraiser for Jamaica and just knowing that that's not happening, it really breaks my heart. So one of the ways I've been dealing with that is just thinking of like, what could we do instead? Now, the big thing about that is I don't know what we can do as far as how things will reopen or when they're going to reopen. But we're going to try our best to do something. Something. I don't know what it is. It's in fact, this is where the chrysalis comes in. It's kind of like this chrysalis thing. Right now, we have a whole lot of I don't know. And it's kind of like we're in this in-between phase between a caterpillar and a butterfly where it seems like nothing's happening. But I promise that there is something happening right now, even though we can't make any firm decisions about what is going to happen this summer besides no summer trips. There's life before chrysalis, there's life after chrysalis, and there's even life in the chrysalis. That's one of the things that I've kind of come to learn is that, you know, these things will move around if you get too close to them. Like they'll wiggle, which is really weird. But there's life happening in this in-between phase, in this waiting phase, in this I don't know what is going to come next phase. And that's where we are. As much as it hurts to have to say, I don't know what we're doing this summer, that is kind of our reality right now. And we're going to work as hard as we can at putting together something. Uh, I realize with school's out, people have more time on their hands. Maybe we create more online stuff um, that I hope is going to fuel our community and into the time when we are back together in one place. You know, Jesus said that wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he will be there also. I think that counts for Zoom, and we're going to test that. We're going to test to make sure, see if that happens. But right now, short story, no summer trips, chrysalis phase, life is happening, something new is coming, so stay on the lookout. And thanks for bearing with us. We appreciate you.